The eyes of the whole country will be on local governing bodies in Tennessee this week. They're pushing to hold votes that could put those two ousted Democratic lawmakers back into the state legislature. CBS's Mark Strassman reports on the political dogfight over guns that lost them their seats in the first place. Nashville struggled today, feeling the joy of Easter Sunday especially six grieving families, their loved ones taken senselessly. Their grief is an American shame, gun violence. How many guns I feel shots firing hear? right now. I'm hearing rapid fire, 10, 12. The March 27th killing spree at the Covenant School still roils this city. We need action. We Three need Democratic action. state reps protested with a bullhorn. They saw themselves as champions of stricter gun laws, 10, not the Republican supermajority. They saw a gross breach of decorum and expelled two of the Democrats. And they were mad not because we walked on the House floor and are breaking decorum. They were mad because we said we have to do something with our gun bill. Those expulsions here in Tennessee, another reminder that in many red states, Republican lawmakers hear virtually any call for gun restrictions as an unwanted disruption. If anything, lawmakers here want to expand gun rights. Already this year, America's had 143 mass shootings, defined as four or more people killed or wounded, excluding the shooter. Last year's total, 647 mass shootings. 10 people killed at a Buffalo supermarket, 21 more, including 19 children, during school in Uvalde, Texas. Last week, students in Uvalde protested for new gun laws, joining a national walkout by kids across the country. They say they feel scared. But like much of modern life, gun law trends are a tale of two Americas. Exactly half. 25 states now no longer require permits to carry handguns in public. In these five states, Republican lawmakers now push to lift background checks and limit gun-free zones. Then again, last year, 21 states and Washington, D.C. approved tightening gun safety measures. Think about and when you hear this... Pray for the, for the victims. My thoughts are with the victims. Thoughts and prayers for all those affected. Increasingly, there's pushback. Not good enough. After the Nashville shooting, you heard it inside Congress from Barry Black, not a congressman, the U.S. Senate chaplain. Lord, when babies die at a church school, it is time for us to move beyond thoughts and prayers. Lord, deliver our senators from the paralysis of analysis that waits for the miraculous. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Nashville.